Hi my friends, how are you doing today? So my name still remains Ngozi Atiti. I want to share uh, an experience with you guys. I had a dream a few days ago and in that dream I spoke some words out and they sounded very mysterious to me. At the time it didn't make any sense. So when I woke up, I was I kept repeating the phrase I'm gonna tell you. I kept repeating it, but it wasn't making any sense. Then my husband was by the side. He, he had already woken up before me. So I now told him, I said, sweetie, sweetie, please get me my phone. I need to, you know, I need to, you know, voice, I need to record this in my voice note. So he grabbed me my phone and I spoke into the voice note to take note of it so that I can now, you know, pay attention to it. And what was the phrase that I woke up with? He says, it goes like this. It's better for two people to work together to the unknown. They will not only make the unknown to be known. They will also conquer the land of the unknown. That was what I was saying. Then I woke up to life and I kept saying it. And after I recorded it, I started thinking about it. I repeated again, it's better for two people to work together to the unknown. They will not only make the unknown to be known, they will also conquer the land of the unknown. This thing didn't make sense to me. My husband was like, who said so? I said, that was what I, in my dream, this was what I was saying, my spirit was saying, and I woke up saying it. And I, I told him, does, does that make sense to you? At the time, it didn't make sense. Then later in the day, you know, after we prayed and started our day, later in the day, I started pondering. I picked up my phone. I listened to that. I said, Holy Spirit, what are you trying to say? This doesn't make sense to me. It's better for two people to walk together to the unknown. They will not only make the unknown to be known, they will also conquer the land of the unknown. So while I was meditating and trying to make sense of what that, you know, phrase actually means, Amos 3.3 3 came to me. I was like, Amos 3.3. 3. Then I went to the Bible and I read Amos 3.3. 3. And what does Amos 3.3 3 say? He said, can two people work together except they are in agreement? Can two walk together except they are in agreement? Then I was like, and I tried to match it with what the phrase says. That it is better for two people to walk together to the unknown. That they will not only make the unknown to be known, that they will conquer the land of the, un of the unknown. Then I connected the dots. And here is the message. The message from that phrase is basically saying that, when two people are in agreement, when there is unity, even when you are tackling problems that are unknown to you or that, that seems enormous to you people, but because of the power of synergy, because of the power of unity, you will conquer and be successful in that project. You remember what the Bible also said that when two shall agree as touching one thing, that God is there and their prayer will be answered. I now said, I said, hmm, I know that message is for me. I really know deep down in my spirit that is for me. But you know, I kept it to myself. And this, this message came to me three days ago. But the Holy Spirit has been, you know, has been tormenting me, telling me to share. I don't know who else this message is for. I know for number one, the message is for me, but I don't know who else will benefit from this message. Now, the Bible is also, and the Holy Spirit is just telling me that there is great power in unity. There is power in unity. The Bible says one shall chase 1,000 and two shall chase 10,000. But if you're out there and you're downplaying the power of unity, or you're downplaying the power of synergy, you are joking. You're robbing yourself of a lot of benefits. Get up today and team up with your teammates. Team up with your partner. Team up as a family. 
team up as a unity, as a unit rather, and bring down that mountain. That's what it means that, that they will not only make the unknown to be known, but what will happen? That they will conquer the land of the unknown. There is power in unity. There is power in agreement. Again, Amos 3, 3 says, can two work together except they are in agreement? Two can only agree to work together when they are agree, when there is unity, when there is synergy. You know, we're each other's business. We're each other's bond. We're each other's magnitude. We're each other's harvest. We can only be human when we're together. So again, I repeat the phrase that the Holy Spirit gave to me and I spoke it out into life. He says, it is better for two people to walk together to the unknown, that they will not only make the unknown to be known, but they will also conquer the land of the unknown. So until I see you in another video, my name still remains in Titi. Remember what we are rapturable and always do what the Bible says. And remember, there is power in unity. Two can chase a thousand. Oh, no, sorry. One can chase a thousand. And two shall do what? Chase ten thousand. And when the Bible always talk about unity, and so it always starts with two, it doesn't say one. So there is mystery in coming together. Shalom.